Hello my lovelies, this is Lian from Resin Shine Creations. Welcome to my channel, I hope you are all doing great. In today's video I'll be creating a resin ocean art and this time I'll be experimenting with this uh, filler, I guess it's a wall filler, a hole filler for DIY things at home and I'll be using this paste to create my terrain slash beach and uh, we'll see how it's gonna go so here I have my large canvas today MDF board it's a uh, 40 times 50 centimeters and here I am working on the beach. I want it to be quite rough, rugged. Uh, and so I'm trying to achieve this look. And I've done my first layer here. And just I'm going over some parts with the second layer to achieve a bit of difference in the height and so it bit stick out so i apply a little bit of product and then kind of uh, shape it how i like and overall this thing um, dries in about 24 hours rock hard so the beach has dried and now i'm going in with the glue and I'll be adding uh, tiny little stones and afterwards sand and then I will paint it my beach side and I'll paint it the seabed so I'll put some music for you and let you enjoy and just watch this process And now I'm starting to paint the uh, seabed uh, in blues and this is my absolute favorite part. I feel like the project uh, is quite done halfway and uh, I really enjoy using blues and greens and just randomly uh, painting and after blending 
I love blues and greens and it just makes me so happy to do this. Right, this is the next step. This is gonna be the first layer of resin and I'm just going in with resin in two shades and a transparent near the uh, coast. And in this layer I don't do any waves. Right, this is the next day, the resin is cured, has cured and now I'm going with a paste and I'm trying to create waves that are kind of slushing, splashing against the coast. Uh, this is a paste made out of um, medium gloss gel and sand little bit of white color. As I uh, watch quite a lot of YouTube videos and uh, shorts and Instagram reels, I often pick up uh, some new ideas that I want to try out and this is not exception. I think it's a great way how to make uh, wave to pop and make more 3D looking. So my wave dried and now I'm applying the second layer of resin and also gonna be making waves with this one. So I did my blue color and transparent close to the shoreline. It is great with this wave uh, that is already present in this piece. It acts like a barrier, so the resin doesn't go anywhere. I'm just pushing a bit with my finger so it touches the wave and after I can pour my white and create uh, the wave. 
I have changed resin once again. Uh, I used to before this uh, work with art resin. It's great resin, but I find it a bit on a pricey side and I prefer thicker resin. So I am trying out now Art Pro Deluxe and this resin is really thick. Uh, but in some ways I say it's easier to work with and um, yeah, so far I like it a lot. We'll see how it goes. So here I pour my white and then I gonna blow out the waves and wait that it's cure. And after that, I'll repeat the process creating waves a bit higher in the sea area so just bear with me and enjoy the process. And on the last layer, I just uh, use uh, transparent resin without any uh, pigment added. So it's basically just to create the wave and that's it. And I'm so happy that lately I'm able to do waves really nicely. I don't need to uh, struggle with uh, lacing and now they come out really nice.
and that's it here is the finished result for you to enjoy i'm happy how it turned out and definitely enjoyed to working with this filler i think it's nice way how to create the beach terrain If you found this video useful and entertaining, please let me know by leaving comment down below. But for now I'm saying goodbye, keep creating, until next time, bye!